You're watching 13 on your side. The criminal trial for the owner of Howling Timbers Animal, Animal Sanctuary starts on Monday. The charges stem from a 2020 investigation by the DNR when a child lost a portion of her arm after being attacked by a wolf dog. Third tenure size Justin Bachman joins us now in studio with a look ahead at the trial. Hi, Justin. Good evening, Elena. Brenda Pearson is facing two charges, one for allegedly having a dangerous animal causing serious injury, the other for allegedly violating the Wolf Dog Cross Act. The upcoming trial is separate from the civil case that was ruled on in April. A 2020 DNR investigation alleges that Howling Timbers owner Brenda Pearson mistreated and neglected wolf dogs within her sanctuary, as well as failing to report multiple bites. One of those bites took part of her granddaughter's arm. Following the judge's ruling in April's civil trial, Four of those wolf dogs were relocated to a sanctuary in North Carolina, looked after by Nancy Laporta. Inherently dangerous is a misnomer. It's a myth. Wolves are timid by nature. They are not aggressive. The dog in the mix often gets overlooked. Judge Annette Smedley's ruling said Peterson didn't have the required permits from state agencies and was in violation of the law. She also ruled that the wolf dogs that bit people would need to be euthanized. Whether we like the laws or not, we have to follow them. At this time, I would take those dogs, be ready to go wherever they needed to go, because I believe that they are a danger. In that civil trial, Peterson's attorney argued that the prosecution was using the tragedy of the bites to destroy her client's business. Those pictures are fodder for this court to think there's a public safety aspect. Not one person of the public has been injured by any of those wolf dogs. Not one. Pearson's attorney has appealed that civil trial's outcome, meaning the wolf dog's future remains uncertain until that appeal is resolved. The criminal trial is set to begin Monday at 9 a.m. and we'll have a crew in the courtroom covering it as it begins. We'll bring you updates online and on air.